Republicans passed a sweeping overhaul of the tax code that will overwhelmingly benefit corporations and the wealthy, amounting to nothing less than a brazen heist of the country. For more on this, it's time for a closer look. <laughs> President Trump keeps insisting, despite all evidence to the contrary, that this tax bill will not be a boon to the richest Americans. In fact, in the spirit of the holiday season, he keeps calling it a Christmas gift to the middle class. This is going to be one of the great gifts to the middle-income people of this country that they've ever gotten for Christmas. It will be the greatest Christmas present that a lot of people have ever received. We're now one huge step closer to delivering to the American people the historic tax relief as a giant present for Christmas. Remember, I said we're bringing Christmas back. Christmas is back bigger and better than ever before. We're bringing Christmas back. It almost sounds like he was about to start singing. <laughs> it's like he's doing a Weird Al cover of a Justin Timberlake song. <laughs> I'm bringing Christmas back. <laughs> Them other holidays are super whack. <laughs> also, Christmas didn't go anywhere. We're all up to our necks in Christmas. Every TV show has a Christmas episode. Every commercial has a Christmas song. There's a 70-foot tree outside my office window, and every barista in town is wearing antlers. If you want to bring something back, try Kwanzaa. That thing straight up disappeared. <laughs> of course, virtually every reputable study of the tax bill says that corporations and the wealthy will benefit far more than anyone else. For one thing, the corporate tax cuts are permanent, while the individual tax cuts expire, which means that by 2027, more than 80% of the plan's benefits go to the top 1%, while 53% of taxpayers will see a tax hike. And if you just look at next year, the plan's benefits are very heavily skewed towards the wealthy. Middle-income taxpayers would pay about $900 less, where the highest-income 1% of households would get an average tax cut of roughly $50,000. Here's what that means in real terms. For middle-income people, an extra $900 would pay for about seven months of gas. By contrast, those in the top 1% could pick up a nice Mercedes C-Class coupe with their 50,000 plus average tax cut. So to recap, if you're rich, you're getting a car for Christmas. And if you're not, go ahead and wrap up a can of gas. <laughs> of course, Republicans... Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna set this next to the fire and open it later. Of course, Republicans can't point to any actual proof their plan would benefit lower- and middle-income people, so all they can do is repeat vague talking points about improving the economy. For example, Ivanka Trump, the president's daughter and advisor, tweeted this week the entrepreneurial spirit that built the American economy is alive and well under President Trump's leadership, with tax reform, small business, and working families will thrive like never before, prompting a response from her father who wrote, So true, Ivanka. Man, that's got to suck for Eric and Don Jr. They tweet about their dad all the time. <laughs> and all they ever get is a broken, upside-down heart. <laughs> What's the button for hate them? <laughs> and yet, despite the overwhelming evidence to the contrary, Trump has repeatedly claimed not just that the wealthy in general would be hurt by the bill, but that he personally would pay more in taxes than he did before. We're also going to eliminate tax breaks and complex loopholes taken advantage of by the wealthy. Who are they? I don't know. I think my accountants are going crazy right now. It's all right. Hey, look, I'm president. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Oh, we definitely believe that you don't care. <laughs> You're by far our most checked out president. I mean, James Garfield worked harder than you after he was assassinated. <laughs> you watch more TV than a sixth grader at home with the flu. Trump watches so much TV, we're like a week away from him tweeting about The Price is Right. <laughs> Plinko is obviously rigged and the wheel is fake news. I guess The Price is wrong. Sad. <laughs> now, obviously, you can't know exactly how Trump would benefit from this bill since he still refuses to release his tax returns, but we do know there are lots of changes that would impact him directly. For one thing, Republicans lowered the top income tax bracket. There are also tax breaks for so-called pass-through businesses, which includes the Trump Organization. There was even a last-minute provision added that specifically extends a new tax break for pass-through businesses to real estate investors. In fact, the bill has so many complicated tax breaks and giveaways, Republicans are trying to argue that average Americans would benefit from those tax breaks by really stretching the meaning of the word average. 
Take this tweet yesterday from Texas Senator John Cornyn. Cornyn wrote, under the tax cuts and Jobs Act, a married couple earning $100,000 per year, $60,000 from wages, $25,000 from their non-corporate business, and $15,000 in business income will receive a tax cut of $2,603.50, a reduction of nearly 24%. Yeah, you know, that average American family that has two kids, a house, a white picket fence, corporate income, non-corporate business income, three limited liability corporations, two S corporations, two C corporations, a commercial real estate venture, a limited liability partnership, carried interest, oh, and a dog. <laughs> average, you know, average. In fact, this bill doesn't even deliver on the flimsy pretext Republicans initially gave for their tax plan, simplifying the tax code. For example, the plan keeps seven different tax brackets rather than the three Republicans initially proposed. Former GOP presidential candidate Herman Cain, who proposed his own tax code simplification plan called the 999 plan, was asked about that failure on Fox News and didn't seem too troubled. Your plan had 999. This one still has seven brackets. It may not be as simple as you <laughs> wanted, but is it a big win for Republicans? It's not 999, but it's fine, fine, fine. Look how happy Herman Cain is. He can't believe they set him up for a rhyme. His public life is done. Now he'll just disappear, never to be seen again. No, Herman, don't go. What will we do without you? Don't worry. You'll be fine, fine, fine. And on top of everything else, this bill also adds nearly $1.5 trillion to the deficit after years of GOP hysteria about government spending. And Republicans are already being very open about the fact that they're going to use the deficits they created as an excuse to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid under the guise of so-called welfare reform. Last week, House Speaker Paul Ryan, a father of three, was asked about paying for those programs and said the problem wasn't that Republicans are giving away billions to corporations and the wealthy, but that people aren't having enough babies. The great thing about tax reform coming right now is we're gonna be able to create the kind of an economy that produces good family-supporting jobs higher wages that will be there for people who are stuck in poverty and welfare to go to. This is going to be the new economic challenge for America. People. Baby boomers are retiring. I did my part, but, but you know, we need to have higher birth rates in this country. I'm sorry, you did your part? <laughs> you know who might have something to say about that? Your wife. <laughs> if I had turned to my wife right after my son was born and said, well, I did my part, I'm pretty sure she would have picked me up and broken me over her knee like Bane. <laughs> it tells you everything you need to know about the Trump era that this is how 2017 is ending, with Republicans ransacking the country, taking health care away from millions, and then telling women that the solution is for them to have more babies. Working and middle-class people overwhelmingly dislike this bill. Meanwhile, corporations and the wealthy are looking at it and saying it's... Fine, fine, fine. This has been a closer look.